That's your daddy. He will. I know he will. He's going to realize that I... I told him not to come back tonight, but that I didn't mean it. And that... He just needs some time. He just needs some time to sort things out and see that I'm right. That's all. It's gonna be just fine, and you just keep on growing, my sweetheart, and getting stronger. You're gonna need to be strong, and your daddy's gonna need you to be strong. So you just keep on growing. Well, I hate that I'm being driven to this, Ross. Really, I do. But if I had another route to take, believe me, I'd take it. I just don't know what else Matt, to do. Would you just slow down? I'm sorry. Yes. All right. Now tell me what's going on. This pregnancy is killing Vanessa. Every day that she keeps that child inside of her, her chances for survival diminish greatly. Okay, the only way for both of them to make it through this is for them to take the baby now through a C-section. But Vanessa doesn't want any part of that. She wants to carry this baby until she's sure it will survive. And by then, she almost certainly won't. The doctors told you this? Yes. And you want to uh, force Vanessa to do it? Yes, and I need your help. All right. What is it you want to do? Take her to court. May this circle of pure gold, which has no end, be henceforth the symbol. I can't waste it. I can't, Joshua. Not when we were so close. Amen. If there is anyone here who has just cause why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever. I know. Oh. Reason. Oh. But, yeah. Sir, sir, you can't well, do it. Sir, you'll have to leave, sir. Any thanks, any thanks. You'll have to leave, sir. Teddy, no. No, uh, just do it. Let go of the man. Let go of him. Let him speak. Please, sir, please, please do it now. Please. Please. Annie Dutton cannot marry Alan Don't Spaulding. Don't listen to this woman. This woman is crazy. Because this man is her husband. Oh. Oh. Please. Please just finish this ceremony. I've never seen this man before in my life. That's a lie, Annie, and we both know it. This is Guiding Light, chosen by TV Guide and Soap Opera Digest as the best soap of 1997. I'm so glad you came. I was terrified that I wasn't going to be able to prove what you said to me. What about the statement I said? One of Annie's friends burned it. I tried to phone you and I couldn't reach you. I was on my way here. Thank you, thank you. But do you have anything else to prove that what you told me was the truth? Get that woman out of here. I'm not going she anywhere. Just arrest her. Come on, Layla, let's go. Hey, hey, no. don't you dare put your hands on her. Alan, throwing me out isn't going to change anything. We'll get rid of a vengeful and spiteful don't woman. Don't you get it? Even if you go through with this wedding, it will be meaningless. Come on, Layla. Except hey, to add another charge off. of bigamy onto Annie's no, already please, impressive get record. Her out of here. Just listen to him. Hear what he has He's to say. Not to you and what have you mind. got to lose? Ellen, please Ellen. get her out of here. This Someone woman's do something. my wife. And yeah, I do have proof. Here's our marriage license. Take a good look. Wow. And no, we never got a divorce. Why are you doing this to me? You broke my heart. You let me believe you were dead. 
How could I have been so dumb as to love you? That lady was right. Don't let her do to you what she did to me. Just like this man over here is a fake, whoever he is. You can say that to me, Annie? Don't! You speak to me, you low life. You can pretend that you don't know me, that nothing ever happened between us. What are you paying him, Reva? I don't know the amount, but you're sure getting your money's worth. She didn't pay me Ruining what Ruining the happiest day of my life! Are you still using that line? You! I don't want to hear one word out of your mouth. That's Do you what hear you me? said on our wedding day, Eddie. This is the happiest day of my life. Alan! I cannot listen to How any more of this. How many days have you had, Annie? So far, I count three. How many more? Shut up. Hmm? Do you remember our wedding night out on the river on my boat? You said, I knew you better than nobody, than anybody. That I had loved you more than anybody ever had. Sound familiar, Alan? She said the exact same things to you not five minutes ago. He obviously overheard what I said, period. I wasn't even in the room five minutes ago. This is a setup. Can't you see that she found some poor excuse for a human being, a loser who needed to make a buck, and she got him oh, to pretend that he was loser my husband. Lied for you, Annie. I stole for you. I took a drug rap for you because you faked your own death. I loved you. I loved you so much. How much more of this garbage do I, I have to listen to? I was in a prison to? cell when they told me you were dead. I blamed myself all these years for driving you to it, and you faked it from day one. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Obviously, under the circumstances, uh, the ceremony must be called off. Alan. For the moment, anyway. Alan. Annie. Don't do this. Hang on. Do not let Reva rob us of our dignity. I want to thank you all for coming. Of course, you're welcome to the food and drink. And again, my apologies. Kill Annie. Yeah, well, so could most of Springfield. It's not funny, Roger, to publicly humiliate my brother like that. Do you think he's telling the truth? Oh, if somebody told me Annie started World War I, I would believe it. Yeah, well, true or not, you can't say that Annie didn't ask for it. And Reva gave it to her, didn't she? Boss, hmm? that was Vanessa. She needs me to come over right away. Great, let's go. Well, I, look, I, you don't have to leave. I can take a cab. <laughs> You're gonna leave me here in your dreams? No, I'll drop you off tomorrow. Okay. Well, we did it, sis. Talk about a close call. <laughs> close or not, Annie is down for the count. I think I'll let Dinah out of the closet. Uh -huh. You think we should let her loose? Uh, or we could leave her in there. <laughs> no. She can't help Annie now, so I guess I better let her out. This should be very interesting. <laughs> Hi. Well, it was a beautiful ceremony. Alan's vows to Annie, they were just so touching, and Annie's vows, they were also very, very touching. Too bad they didn't make it to the I do's, but no wedding's ever perfect. I guess you know all about that now, don't you, Dinah? <sighs> you don't look very comfortable. Would you like me to let you out? Only if you say yes, please, Cassie. Yes, please, Cassie. <laughs> okay. One false move and you're back in the chair. Oh, don't worry. I think I'm all out of moves. I think you'll be able to figure something out. I still can't believe we pulled it off. Not we. You. 
to think that Eddie just showed up like that. I have to find you him. You did it. Thank him. You yes. did it. Well, it worked. By the skin of my teeth. I don't care how you did it. The point is that you blew the marriage from hell straight to hell. <laughs> Let's hope it stays there. It's amazing. Excuse us. Hey. I can't believe you did this. Philip. I can't believe that you used me to stall the wedding. No, no, you're, you're not involved. That's why I took I the ring, I so that you involved. wouldn't be. He's my father. We've had our problems, but damn it, Harley, he's my father. How could you do this? Oh, your daddy was gonna carve your name right here. Well, he will. I know he will. He's gonna be the most wonderful father in the whole wide world. Or maybe you think that every man is as loving and kind as he is, but they're not. They're not. You're a very lucky girl. You are. And he's gonna love you very, very much. And you're gonna be very good for him. Listen, I'm depending on you, okay? Just a little packed. Because he's gonna get to see the world through your eyes. And he's gonna need that. So you just... Why you called me? No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't breathe. It's not the baby. Are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe I should. No, no, no! Don't move. Don't move. Stay right there. Stay right there, just in case. I'll call the doctor just no. in case. No, no, it's not the baby. Because of the pregnancy? Yes. Oh, dear, but I thought you told us that everything was fine. I know right. what you thought. Everything was fine. It's what I wanted you to think. You and everybody else. That I would beat the sickness, that I would have the baby, and that Matt and I would go off into the sunset. Well, Matt and I had our miracles, but I think they're over now. Listen. Listen. Matt wants me to have an emergency C-section to save my life, and I'm not gonna do it. Because if I do that now, I, I don't think the baby's ready for it. And I, I'm afraid that it would be born with very serious birth defects, mm -hmm. and I won't do it. But he's taking me to court. His what? Yes, because he wants to save my life, and I, 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 I need your help. What, what can I do? What can I do? Yeah, you just get me some place away from here, please, any place, so that I can carry the baby to term, please. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. Why not? Because I totally, I totally agree with Matt on this. Matt, I don't understand. I thought her disease was in remission. It, it was. Look, this is kind of complicated, Ross, but Vanessa's pregnancy has brought about some hormonal changes in her body, and so now it's back. She needs to be back on some medication that could help save her life, but that same medication could be risky for the child. Now, she's been getting worse, but keeping it to herself. I guess she figured by the time I realized what was going on, it'd be too late to do anything about it. From what you tell me, in one way or another, Vanessa was right. No, that, that's not exactly true, because we spoke to a neonatal specialist who said that, yes, a premature cesarean section would be risky, but for the most part, this child will have a very real chance for survival. Vanessa, on the other hand, has no chance if she doesn't get back on her medication. Ross, she, 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 she fainted in my arms the other day. I mean, I pleaded with her. I, I begged her. I've, I've tried to reason with her. I've done everything I could to try to get through to her, and nothing seems to work. So I need to know, can I legally make her have the cesarean section? I do know of one way. W which is what? You're not going to like it. If it keeps Vanessa alive, I'll love it. 
have her declared mentally incompetent. You said in my you said you said in my apartment that you were in on anything that would break them yeah, up. No, but see, the it. point is, I wasn't in on it. If I had been in on it, I would have stopped you from humiliating my father in front of all these people. That's not what I was trying to do. And well, you maybe not, probably, it. but that's what you did. That's what you did. Hey, you're getting mad at me for the wrong reason here. I was going after Annie Nutt, the woman who shot me full of draw and tried to kill did. me. I know in what the she did to you, and I'm not forgiving her for that. But that's not the point. It's exactly it is the, not point. the point. Philip, it's exactly the point. I'm not talking point. about what she did to you or what she did to Reba and Josh or anybody else. The woman is dangerous. She deserved everything that you're she You're not listening tonight. to me. You're... I don't give a damn if Annie burns in hell. I don't Bobby care Rush about her. End Listen up. to me. I care about my father. If you love your father so much, how could you stand to see him married to that walking disaster area? Because he happens to love her. <sighs> Mommy! Yes, sweetie, coming. I don't think that he does. He does. I don't think he does. Harley, trust me, he does. I didn't think he did either, but he does. I think she's the first woman that he's really loved in a long time. Well, it doesn't say very much for his taste in women. Well, no, it doesn't, but you know what? We're not marrying her. It meant a lot to him. He honestly believed that all she needed was a man that would stand by her no matter what she had done, and he wanted to be that for her. So I wanted that for him. Maybe his heart isn't broken. <laughs> you know, if he loves her that much, maybe they can put this back together. Hey, all the cards are on the table. Maybe what happened um, was for the best. Off my dress. Whether You're going to regret this, Rita, to your dying day, which may be very soon. Annie, oh. you forget about Reba. You're going to have to deal with me first. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Say, Helen. Just um, one minute. This was the happiest day of my life, and you ruined it. I asked you here in good faith. No, Annie. You asked me here to rub my nose in your survival. You wanted me to know that you would always be there to torment me and my family. That's why you invited me. You think you won? You haven't. You will never beat me, Reva. You Come on, will never Abby. beat me. Never. I can't believe she still has the nerve, the nerve to threaten you. The woman is made of bitterness and spite. Well, hopefully a little time in jail will uh, help her out because that's where she's headed as soon as the law realizes that she... that she lied to avoid prosecution. She faked her death. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll just feel a lot better once I know she's back in Ohio. Hey, Reva. You were right. <laughs> What's that, officer? Hey, but did you have to go through a whole song and dance to get me to come down here? I mean, why didn't you just tell oh, me the truth? You know why? Because Annie has a black belt in talking her way out of situations. That's why, and I couldn't risk that. I had to have the whole story come out in front of Alan and everyone else here. Otherwise, she'd just worm her way out of it again. Am I forgiven? I'll let you off with a warning. Thank you. You're welcome. I talked to uh, Eddie Banks. And you believed everything he said, right? Well, Josh, let me tell you, I, uh... I believe this marriage certificate here is legitimate. And I'm going to have to run a computer check with Ohio and uh, see if his story checks out. Then do your duty, officer. I'll be in touch. 
Thank you. Eddie. I, I, I've been looking for you. Well, here I am. I just wanted to thank you again. You don't have to. Yes, I do. You have no idea how much I have to thank you. Well, you're welcome. Mind if I ask you a question? Please. Why? Why did you come here? I, I, I thought that you never wanted to see her again. What changed your mind? Partly to prove to myself what you said was true. I guess I needed to see her again to uh, really believe it. Well, I guess this is goodbye then. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is I still love you, Annie. There's a part of me that'd still do anything for you. Excuse me. What happened to Annie? Not that any of you people care. Annie is, uh, she's over there talking Thank to you. Helen. Dinah. Cassie told me what she did. Well, of course she did, Hart. I'm sure she's very proud of herself. No, she's not proud, but she did what she had to do to protect her family. You can understand that. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. She hit me, she tied me up, and she locked me in a closet so that she could uh, humiliate a woman on her wedding day. Who Now, who wouldn't understand that? You know I what, understand Diana, that. You know what? There's just no reasoning with you. Let me tell you something. You got yourself a great catch there. The woman of your dreams, I'm really happy for you. Yeah, well, you know what Annie's like, right? I got to tell you something. You're beginning to sound just like her. In fact, you look a little bit like her. And it ain't a pretty sight. What you're asking me to do is to help you kill yourself. I, I, I can't do that. And I'm not, I don't like what you're doing to Matt through all this. Do you think I like it? Do you think I like the thought of having to leave him? That's exactly what you're doing by insisting on carrying this child. Do you think I like having this disease? Do you think I like the thought of having to leave her? It's a girl? Yes. It's a baby girl. And I'm not going to be around for her life, probably. I, I'm not going to get to be with her the way you're going to be with your baby. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love you so much, you're so my friend. You're part of Henry. You cannot leave as well. Come on now. You have to stay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say those things to you. No, I didn't. It's just that it's not this baby's fault that I'm sick. And I don't want her to have to suffer for it. I am going to protect her as much as I can. That's what I'm going to do. And you're right, I haven't been honest about it. As I don't accept it. And I'm not resigned to it. But I know what I have to do. And I need your help. You're all I've got. Comparing me to Annie really makes you feel good, doesn't it? None of this makes me feel good. Oh, yeah, it does. It makes you feel like you're better than me, like you're above everybody else, and so then you feel justified in all the things that you do. Dinah, don't turn this around against me. You know what kind of woman Annie is, and you knew the scam she was... No, I didn't. I didn't know what was happening until just before the wedding was about to begin. It doesn't matter when you found out. As soon as you burn that piece of paper, Cassie had every right to lock you in that room. I think oh, you got sure, what you yeah. deserve. Oh, I know, I know. That's because I'm such a bad guy. And you're a good guy, Hart. And now you're on the side of the good guys. Reva and Cassie, super right. mom slash That's stripper. Right. That's enough. She's going to rob That's Lewis enough. Oil, sleep with both of the brothers, talk about a sterling character. I mean, come on. Why don't we give a big cheer for the Lewis family values? Oh, family values. That's a great one. What happened to yours? Remember when you went to Switzerland to get your mother? Huh? Remember how you loved your family? I do, Dinah, because that's the woman I used to love. Tell me, have you seen that woman? She's standing right in front of you. Not even close. You know what, Hart? When you really love someone, you're supposed to accept them 
with all of their flaws. You're supposed to stick it out with them. I stuck it out. A lot longer than I should have. I know that you loved me. I know that you did. And I also know that people don't change overnight. <sighs> Dinah, 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 you gotta spare me the people don't change speech. Because the fact is, you change, sweetheart. Something inside you died. That's because I was trying to be the woman that you wanted no, no, me to be. That's because... What happened to you? Really, I mean, what happened to you? What happened to you? Ellen, you're not gonna let Riva get away Annie. with this, are you? This is the biggest pack of lies that I have ever Annie, heard. Annie, I think it's time that you told me the truth. I have told you that I don't happened. think so, Annie. Are you gonna tell me that marriage license was a forgery? If you do, I can have it traced, you know. And how much of your ex-husband, or should I say, current husband's story is true? If you don't tell me, I'll find out myself. I see. It was a long time ago, a lifetime ago. I was very young and very stupid and desperate, and I think I just went a little crazy. I wanted it to be behind me, and it was the only thing that I could think of to do. You know how that feels, don't you, Ellen? Having to end something that's destroying you and not sure how you're going to do it? Yes. I know how that feels. I love you. I know that's something that you don't want to hear right now, but I love you, and we are so close to having something that is wonderful, something that we have never had before. And Raven wants to destroy that. She wants you to hate me. Don't let her do it, Ellen, please. I am begging you. Please. Don't. Let Rima Shane win. Mark. Hey. I don't think that you really understand what happened here tonight. I understand everything that happened. Well, you're acting just as proud as Cassie and Reva probably are. You know, Dinah, you make me laugh. You don't think Reva and Cassie were justified in doing this? No, I don't think so. No, not in a million years. I think that what they did was mean and vindictive. Annie had all of her hopes pinned Annie, on marrying Annie Alan. Annie wasn't yes. done here by a long shot. You couldn't possibly be on Annie's side, Dinah. Yes, I am. She is a human being. I don't know if I could justify that. Oh, no, of course not. You're so self-righteous. Then you would have to see her as a person who was flawed. God forbid someone's less than perfect. You know, she is a person who has been desperately hurt. Hurt? What about all the pain that Annie's inflicted on everyone else? Let me ask you something. How would you like it if Cassie's ex walked, waltzed back into her life and started destroying everything that you two were trying to build up? How would that make you feel? How would you like that? You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through to you. So I think this conversation's just about over. really did come back. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? Annie's still with Alan. Not for long. Don't be so sure. She's probably convincing him to stay with her right now. No way, no way. With Annie, anything's possible. Dealing drugs, staging your own death, letting your husband serve time for both. Pretty picture, Annie. I wanted to tell you. No, no, I don't think you did. You thought I wouldn't find out. You thought no one would find out. Why? Because you knew that I trusted you. I haven't kept anything else from you. Why should I believe that, Annie? Tell me. What other surprises do you have in don't, store for me? Don't look at me like that. Like what, like you? Annie? I know you love me. I know you love me, and all I have to do is get a quickie divorce, and we can have the wedding that we planned. I know you love me, and that you meant every word of your wedding vows. Yeah, when I was before, certain things came to mind. And life. I meant every word of my wedding vows. You do know me better than anybody else in the world. 
a hell of a lot better than Josh Lewis ever did. Ah, yes, Josh, the man who got away. Lucky <laughs> for him, I might add. They're praying that their plan worked, that they have broken us up, Ellen, and to say that you know me better than Eddie Banks, I won't even say it because that's an insult. All he wants is a little money, and I'm sure he will disappear. You know, Annie, even now, all you think about is covering your own butt. I am thinking about you us. You lied to me. You made me look like a fool. I accepted everything you've done, and you still kept secrets from me. I didn't think it was important. I'll tell you what was important, Annie. What was important was our trust. I thought you loved me as much as I loved I you. I do love you. Oh, no, you don't. You only love yourself, Annie. There's not room for anyone else. No, no, you I don't mean that. I have forgiven you again and again and again because I thought I meant something to you, but I see that I mean nothing. Don't say that. That's Annie. not true. It's over. No. It's over. I don't know you, Annie. I never knew you. Ellen. Ellen. You love me. Love you, Annie. Solves everything. Thanks. <coughs> are you all right? Oh, I'm terrific. <laughs> How are you? Oh, peachy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am the last person who should stand in judgment of anyone. Well, actually, you're one of the few people whose judgment I trust. <laughs> do you still think I'm wrong to do this? I'm not able to think anymore. <laughs> I'm certain that you are my dearest friend and I love you very much. And I'll do whatever you need me to do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I won't take advantage of that, I oh, promise. You go right ahead. <laughs> Besides, I don't know, it was probably just worst case scenario and, and it's not going to happen and Matt's not going to bring a lawsuit against me. I'm sure he won't. I'm sure he's deciding right now that he won't. I don't know how far I'm willing to take this, Ross. I, I really don't. I don't know what to tell you. I, You're going to have to give it some more thought. If I don't take Vanessa to court, she's going to die. And if I do, she's probably going to hate me for the rest of her life. That's a hell of a choice to have to make, isn't it? It's a choice I wouldn't want to make. Having her declared mentally incompetent, that's, that's, that's the only way. That's what you're telling me. Matt, I'm sure that there are other ways, and I could research it and find a precedent. But from what you've told me, that would take time. And Vanessa, she doesn't have that. So we're back to square one. Either Vanessa alive and hating me, or Vanessa... Can we get the ball rolling on this deal first thing in the morning? Beth, honey, are you ready to go? Uh, no, not yet, Mom. Uh, well, uh, I think Lizzie has had enough. Okay, so you take her home, and I'll be along in a little bit. Do you want to tell me why you want to stay at this wake? For Philip. Philip is with Harley, Beth. I don't think so. And why not? They had a big fight a little while ago. About what? I didn't hear exactly, but I got the gist. Harley knew that Reva was planning on disrupting this wedding, and she didn't share that with Philip. He was furious at her, and I can't say that I blame him. Well, I don't blame him either, but 
How is this a concern of yours? Mom, just take Lizzie home. Please. Okay? Okay, Pumpkin. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take you home. Bye. Bye, Mommy. Hey. Hey. Still friends? Remember how I told you that I enjoy fighting with you? You said you liked it because then we always made up. I didn't like this one very much. That's because it was my fault. No. No, this was no, my it wasn't fault. Your fault. I handled no, it all wrong. No, it was wrong. my fault too. No, l listen. Your father has done some despicable things, and the fact that you still love him, I think that is so admirable. Because I'm stupid. No, no. because <laughs> you love him, so there's something to love there. I don't know, but I do need to find him. I gotta go. Um, just take the car and I'll meet you home, okay? And I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'll meet you. Hey, Dad. Son. <laughs> Look at this. I'm actually at a loss for words. Well, there's really not much to say. I'm sorry, Dad. So how do things stand with you and Annie? I'd rather you not mention her name again. Oh, well, I guess that answers that question. Alan, are you OK? I'm fine. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say after what happened. It's all right, Beth. Philip, I think maybe we should take Alan home. No, I'm, yeah. I'm not a child. I think I can find no, my own way. You Let's should not be alone. Let's now. just go home, okay? Let's go home. He's got the computer report on Eddie Banks. And? Everything he said checks out. And he's going away for a long time. Drug charges, fraud, not to mention a couple counts of bigamy. Doesn't sound like Alan's going to be able to bail her out this time. That's if he wants to, man, which I doubt very much he will. We have to extradite her to Ohio. I can't believe it. Annie's about to finally be out of our lives. As of right now. Do you know where she is? Have you seen her? Uh, the last time I saw her, she was in the uh, back hallway. Annie. Dress is dirty. I'm gonna have to take you in. My dress. Look how dirty my dress is. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to refuse counsel. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand me? I'm sorry, I have to use these. Let's go. This has been Guiding Light. Wedding apparel provided by Paula Barcelona, 